So what would it be like if you put a manual transmission in a Cessna 172? That's what we're going to look at today. Let's get rolling. All right, welcome back to the channel. We are back in Microsoft Flight Simulator today, and we have something a little bit different. We're sitting at Kilo Echo Mike Tango, El Monte Airport in California. We've got our bags just about ready to load. I don't think we need to do any pushback today. I think we can work around this guy, um, and hopefully all these vehicles clear. But we have made a modification to this Cessna 172. It no longer has a normal engine for today's flight um, this is not realistic this is not this is one of those times where I'm gonna leave RP and I just thought it'd be fun to see what it would be like to shift gears in a Cessna 172 so let's get everything loaded I'll get the pre-flight going and I'll pick it back up when we're taxiing Okay, we have our clearance to taxi. We are headed to runway 01 here at El Monte and getting this 18 speed, which is what we've got in here. 18 speed with 3.95 differential in a Cessna. This is happening. I don't know why it's happening, but it is. I've got live weather going on today. It is a crappy day in Southern California. Probably going to have a little bit of rain, definitely clouds, and a slight bit of a crosswind, which is always fun. Let me get clearance from the tower. All right, we have clearance from tower, and we are going to take off headed toward the north. We're going to head out west a little bit. Then we're going to circle around and come back in and we'll see what this is like shifting gears with this thing. Continue straight. All right. So again, this is an 18 speed. So let's see how long it takes us to get through the gears I'm thinking that we should be able to get through get up to about six low maybe even six high by the time we take off and get in the air and then once we get past our initial climb and we're in our cruise then I think what we're gonna do is be able to hit seven and eight maybe get up to 18th that would be kinda cool alright alright fuel pump is on pitot heat is on landing light and strobe light we are good to go Mixture full rich. Hold the brakes a little bit. And here we go. Shifting a Cessna. Whoa. That crosswind is crazy. That crosswind is crazy. Whoa. What is going on? Is this Microsoft Flight Simulator's weird physics or what? All right, let's get off the ground. What is going on? That's ridiculous. Maybe this was a bad day to fly, but we're getting through. We're getting through the gears though, so that's good. It's definitely getting us through. Kind of weird having a uh, kind of weird having a manual in a Cessna. Climbing at about seven five knots. That's good. Let's see if we can get through a thousand. Just got a strong headwind. It's actually. 
crazy. Yeah, we should definitely be seeing some rain here pretty soon. That would not surprise me in the least. Take a look off to the left. I don't think we have any traffic. Let's start a nice little climb here. Up and to the north, northwest. Got up at a thousand feet above now. We're gonna maintain about seven five knots, there thereabouts. Head out to the west. We're just about there. Two seven zero. I like it. No autopilot today. I'm not really doing a whole lot interesting, other than shifting with a manual transmission but we don't want to climb too high anyway because then we're going to get right into the thick of it. In fact, I think maybe we just go ahead and, before we get there, why don't we just call it good at about 1,500? In 400 meters, turn left. head back a little bit to the southwest so we can turn around and land back Drive on light. runway 01 at Almani. Again, we're not really going anywhere today. We just kind of want to see what it would be like to shift some gears. And of course, you know, in a plane you've got flaps and we are going to be using some flaps, but we are going to be downshifting a little bit or upshifting. Um, slow us down a little bit and depending on how fast we're going, when we finally land, we may even use a little bit of jake. Because that's exactly what you would do in a manual transmission, even though we're in a plane. Okay, there's the airport. Let's actually kind of curve around a little bit. Eight five knots, it's pretty good. I'm not going to put out any flaps right away because the way this wind is tossing us, who knows what effect that's going to have. We're a little high. Let's bring it down. Elevation's about 250 at El Monte. 200 to 250. So we probably want to drop about 300 feet before we're actually officially in the traffic. Uh, at the traffic height. But yeah, it's just, it's just gray and cloudy all around us. Maybe if we went anywhere else, maybe we'd see the rain. Alright, let's go in. We are now on left downwind, about to turn left base for runway 01. Let's get some flaps in, slow her down to about 075, and then we can start dropping her out of the sky a little bit. There she is. I'll go a little bit further before we turn base. So we should already start going back through the gears when we turn base. All right, pitot heat is on. Let's get that fuel pump engaged again. Fuel pump is on. Landing lights, strobes. Fuel set to both. We are good to go. Turn light. We're landing, so let's go full on the mixture. And let's... right now until we turn final. Oh, we're still a little high. Turn light. Let's go ahead and all right. Slow her down. Going back down through the gears. Let off the gas a little bit. And I think we're probably gonna want eh, we're pretty high. I think we're probably gonna want at least stage two on the Jake here. We are full flaps. Oh yeah, we're coming in. We're coming in pretty steep. I didn't give us nearly enough room. No, we are absolutely gonna have to have some Jake as soon as we hit. Oh, making some S curves to drop some of this height. Oh man, 
I didn't plan that very well at all. Well, it's a good thing we got a Jake in here. Said no one ever in a Cessna. There we go. I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it. A little slow there, a little slow there. Jake. Oh, there's that center line. Come on. Oh, that Jake helped a lot. I like it. I like it. Hey, that was pretty cool. So that is what it's like to take off, run a circuit, and land with a manual transmission in a Cessna 172. And I really think we benefited from that Jake. I like it. You've arrived. It's been my honor and duty to see you through this. Well, if you like what we're doing here, it's kind of fun for a Sunday. Uh, give me the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos. Let me know what you thought below. Um, I like doing these things every now and then, kind of break away from the realistic stuff. And, yeah, just have some fun with it. In any event, as I get taxiing back into the parking, I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.